Welcome to the Sailor Girl Golf Channel. I'm Justin. Brandy and I had an amazing experience playing the most beautiful golf courses in Japan. Over the next few episodes, we're sharing our adventures at Kawana Hotel's Fuji and Oshima courses. Golf Digest ranks the Fuji course number 42 in the world. In today's episode, I continue my Pursuit of Power series on the Oshima course, and you're not going to want to miss a single hole. Hole number one, straightaway par four, 354 yards, playing downhill, 26 yards. We've got a greenside bunker on the left and a fairway bunker on the right. Nice shot. A little hilly, hilly one. Go. Thank you, baby. Hole number two, 199 yard par three, playing down 12 yards, guarded on the front left with a nice green side bunker. Nice on. Hole number three is a 373 yard par four playing uphill 28 yards. It's a slight dogleg left along the cliffs. A nice tee shot's gonna leave you a blind approach to a small green. Perfect. Ugh, quite a bit right. A little left. And short. That's a side. Yes. Nice. Hole number four is a 351 yard par four, bending left along the ocean. A bold tee shot can cut the corner and leave a short approach to this beautiful green guarded by a single bunker on the front right. It's gonna be good. Nice, birdie. Chirp, chirp. Hole number five is a short par four measuring 262 yards that requires a straight tee shot to a blind landing zone. You're not going to be able to see the green surface on your approach shot either, so distance control is key. Hole number six is a 147 yard par three with a forced carry over a large ravine. The green is guarded on the left and right with bunkers and slopes severely back to front. Nice. 
Nice shot. Baby. A little suspension action here on the rope bridge. <laughs> it's uh, jumping and swaying. The view of the ocean. Out for the channel. Hole 7 is a short 282 yard par 4 that bends slightly to the right and plays up 20 yards. It's a tight tee shot to a blind landing zone so driver isn't the play. On the front edge. Hole 8 is a 464 yard par 5 dog leg left with a blind tee shot up and over a 40 yard mound. A good tee shot leaves you a mid iron into a very accessible green and a great chance at birdie or even eagle. Very chilly, but good. Look at that. This is short. I bounce up. Nice shot. Hole 9 is a great finisher before the turn. It's a 408 yard par 4 bending to the left. A good tee shot catches a 15 yard downhill slope that starts at around 280 and can leave a short wedge into a green guarded by one bunker long. Nice shot. That was definitely my best nine holes on camera so far. I think we can all agree that deserves a like for the video. Subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you can watch part two coming soon. Comment below if you think I can hold it together. Can I go even lower or do I melt away in this summer heat? Thanks for watching. See you next time.